In this video, we're going to be looking at topic 4A, which is Introduction to Organic Chemistry, and we're going to be focusing on the single outcomes for the IGCSE chemistry course from Edexcel. So there are two main learning outcomes here just to introduce you to organic chemistry. And the first is knowing what is meant by a hydrocarbon and then looking at the different types of formula that we can use to represent organic molecules. So an organic compound is anything that is carbon based. There are some exceptions, which is carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, carbonate and hydrogen carbonates. But anything else that is carbon based is going to be classed as an organic compound. And in organic chemistry at GCSE, we will cover alkanes and alkenes. And we'll go into more detail on them later on in this course. Now, organic compounds can exist as long chains with all their carbons in a row. They can exist as branched chains where they have extra parts coming off the side or they can exist as a ring of carbons and they will generally have hydrogens attached as well. Now, the simplest type of organic compound is known as a hydrocarbon. And the definition of a hydrocarbon is that they are molecules that contain carbon and hydrogen only. Now this is a very, very important definition. It regularly comes up in exams and you have to specify that it is a molecule that contains only carbon and hydrogen because other organic compounds could contain substances like oxygen or nitrogen or sulfur, but we don't class them as hydrocarbons. So we are only looking at molecules that have carbon and hydrogen. And these carbons and hydrogens can be bonded with single bonds, double bonds, or even triple bonds. But most importantly, they are all covalent because we've got non-metals and they share their outer electrons. So we've covered covalent bonding in Unit 1. If you're not sure about it, you might want to go back and have a look over. Now, the hydrogens are always bonded to the carbons using only single covalent bonds. And that is because hydrogen only has one outer electron, meaning it can only form one bond and one single bond. So the carbons can have double or triple bonds, but the carbons to the hydrogens can only have single bonds. Now, there are four different types of formula that you have to know in single science. The first one is molecular formula, and this shows the actual number of atoms. So how many carbons and how many hydrogens? We can have a general formula that represents the composition of an entire class of compounds. So a formula that we can kind of like an equation that we can follow to predict what the formula of any member of that group would be. We can have structural, which shows how the molecules are joined together. And then we can have displayed formula that shows all the bonds in the molecule. So let's look at an example of the different types of formula. Now, you may not have met these molecules before, but you will meet them when we go on to look at alkanes and alkenes, which will be later on in this topic. So I'm going to give you some background on this. So when we have butane and butene, one of these is an alkane and one is an alkene. So butane is split into two parts. So we have the A-N-E and the B-U-T. Now the B-U-T tells us that I have four carbons and the A-N-E tells us that I have single bonds only because this is an alkane. And as I said, we will go into a bit more detail about that later. We also can have then an alkene, and this means it has a double bond, and we can tell that by looking at the name. When it ends in this E-N-E, -E, it means that we have at least one double bond, but the B-U-T again means I have four carbons. So now what I can do is I can write out the molecular, the general, the structural, and the displayed formula for these compounds. Now, my piece of advice would be to start from the displayed formula and work your way back because that's actually easiest rather to build it down rather than building it up. So the first thing I'm going to do with the butane is I'm going to draw my four carbons. So I have one, two, three, four. 
Now, all of these carbons are single bonded because it's an alkane, and they all have then hydrogen surrounding them. And in a displayed formula, I show every single bond. I don't get lazy and not bother to draw the hydrogens or not bother to draw a bond. I have to show every single one. And that's the displayed formula. Structural formula then breaks it down into smaller chunks. So what we do is we take each carbon and we write out the carbon and then how many hydrogens are attached. And we do this to make make it more condensed. So for example, I would write out here CH3 because I start with a carbon and three hydrogens. I then move on and my next carbon is a CH2 and then another CH2 and then finishing off with a CH3. Okay, now I'm going to skip to the molecular formula for just a minute. Now what we do is we just simply count how many carbons, how many hydrogens. So I have one, two, three, four carbons. So I write C4 and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens. So I write H10. Now for the general formulas, we will cover these and the alkanes and the alkenes topics. But what we do is we always set it to have the carbon and then we swap out the number for an N. And that N could be any number at all. And then what we do is we write the hydrogens and then we write a small sum or a small algebraic expression to show how the carbons relate to the hydrogens. And for an alkane, we take the number of carbons, we multiply it by 2, so 2n, and then we add 2. And we can prove that here. If we take 4 carbons, multiply that by 2, we get 8, and add 2, and we get 10. And that is our formulas for butane. Now we can do the same for butene. So we're going to start with a displayed formula. So we draw out our four carbons. One, two, three, four. But this has one double bond because it is butene, a member of the alkenes. So I'm going to put the double bond in the centre. Now it can go in different places, but that will be covered in the alkenes video. So now what I do is I add all of my hydrogens to make sure that every carbon has four bonds. So for my first one, I'm going to add my hydrogens. Then I move on and I can see that my carbon that's second in the chain already has three bonds to two other carbons. So I actually only need one hydrogen there. I then look at the same for the next carbon. Again, I only need one hydrogen. And then the last carbon, I need three. So there's my displayed formula and you can see that it looks different to the butane when we have the double bond. Again, structural formula, we're going to just break it down. So I've got CH3 and then I have CH and in this case I should show the double bond and then CH again and then CH3. To get the molecular formula, again it's just counting, so we know that we still have four carbons. This time for the hydrogens, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now hopefully you can work out the general formula. Uh, again, this will be covered later. We have an n number of carbons and to work out the number of hydrogens, we simply multiply it by two. So we get two n. And there's the formulas written out a little bit clearer. Um, so you can see that we've got our molecular showing how many atoms are genital, giving us that algebraic expression, structural formula showing us the small chunks, and then displayed formula showing every single bond available. So let's look at some past paper questions for this topic. There isn't that much in the introduction. You go into more detail when you look at alkenes and alkenes, but we'll look at some basic questions that will help us use our formulas so decane is a hydrocarbon found in crude oil, and the diagram shows the structure for a decane molecule. So we want to describe why it is, sorry, explain why it is described as a hydrocarbon. As I said, this comes up all the time, and you can see it's worth two marks. So it is a hydrocarbon because the molecule contains hydrogen and carbon 
only. And I cannot stress enough how much you have to use the word only. And I'll show you that in the mark scheme in just a moment. Then we look at the molecular formula for decane. So we are simply wanting to count the number of carbons and the number of hydrogens. And in a hydrocarbon, the number of carbons always comes first. So decane, we can count, has got 10 carbons. And then for the hydrogens, I count them and we get 22. So C10H22. So just to show you in the mark scheme here, we've got for the hydrocarbon question, you get one mark for saying the carbon and the hydrogen, and then you get a second mark for mentioning the word only. So you have to say that word, it's very, very specific. Now in our second past paper question, we're being asked about the molecular formula of C3H6, which is an example of a hydrocarbon. So you can see that that falls into that general formula CNH. 2N that we just looked at, and that actually tells us that this is an alkene. Now, don't worry too much if you didn't know that at this point. As I said, we haven't covered alkene, alkenes in a lot of detail, um, but that is an alkene, and the name for this would be propene, because prop means three carbons. What we want to focus on is the second part of the question, because this goes into the formulas. So we have a molecular formula, which is C3H6. It then gives us CNH2N. Well, we've just mentioned that that is the general formula. And then we want to show the displayed. Now remember, a displayed means that you have to show all the bonds here. So I'm going to write out my carbons. One, two, three. Now because this is an alkene, I have to have at least one double bond. Now it doesn't matter where you put it, I'm just going to put it at the start. So now I've got my double bond and my single bond and I just have to fill in my hydrogens. So the first carbon has the double bond so it already has two, so I only need to add in two more hydrogens. The middle carbon already has three bonds so I only need one hydrogen and then the last one I need to add three and I can just check that I've got C123, yep, and H123456. So I have my displayed formula for propene. And you can see that we have the answers that are on the mark scheme as well. And that's everything for the single outcomes for introduction to organic chemistry. As I said, you will go into a lot more detail about the alkenes and alkenes and crude oil later in the topic. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and we hope to see you back soon.